If you've had friends and colleagues recently asking you if you're on Signal instead of WhatsApp, and your response has been, what's Signal? Don't worry, I'm Nate Langson, I'm in lockdown, and I'm here to explain why so many people have been asking you. Right now, Signal is one of the most popular apps in app stores around the world, but on the surface, it might not appear immediately obvious why. It looks a bit like WhatsApp and functions similarly. You can text your friends, make video calls, have group chats with colleagues, just like a lot of apps do. The reason for the popularity surge, though, lies beneath aesthetics, because WhatsApp and Signal share several unique connections, one of which is an executive and privacy advocate called Brian Acton. Now, Acton created WhatsApp in 2009 with co-founder Jan Kuhn. The pair sold it to Facebook in 2014 in a landmark deal worth $22 billion, and tension quickly began to rise. Acton wanted WhatsApp to remain secure, free, and private, but Facebook's leadership team also, long-term, wanted a return on the $22 billion they'd spent to acquire it. They had plans to monetize WhatsApp with tools for businesses and advertisers, plans you're now being asked to agree to privacy policies about, and Acton was very unhappy with the security implications of some of these plans. So unhappy, in fact, that in 2017, he resigned. And a year later, he told the magazine Forbes that he felt he'd sold his users' privacy to a larger benefit. His early departure also meant he forfeited hundreds of millions of dollars in stock that he would have been due as part of the original acquisition of WhatsApp if he'd have stayed with Facebook. Around the time of that interview in 2018, he founded a new company called Signal Messenger and a non-profit to finance it called the Signal Technology Foundation. Its products are the Signal app and the encryption technology that underpins it. Now that sequence of events helps illustrate why some people think of Signal as a spiritual successor to, or maybe just a cousin of, WhatsApp. But Acton didn't create Signal. Its roots can be traced back to 2010 and an encrypted messaging app for Android called Text Secure. Before leaving Facebook though, Acton and his colleagues gave WhatsApp support for Text Secure's encrypted messaging technology. And it's that technology that the app still uses today and it's why WhatsApp, Facebook, governments, no one can read your messages except for the people you send them to. Today though, that technology is called the Signal Protocol and it's regularly cited by security researchers as being among the most secure in its class. The combination of all these reasons is why Signal became the popular recommendation for people looking for an alternative to WhatsApp, and how it won support for privacy advocates, whistleblowers and journalists who sang its praises for security long before Acton got involved with it. On the surface, it just functions very similarly to WhatsApp. Underneath, it has the same encryption protocol and privacy features that are exempt from needing to adhere to the needs of a parent that's dependent on advertisers for money. And behind the scenes, it has the executive muscle in Acton, who can help attract potential donors to the non-profit foundation that Signal does rely on for money. So now you know why so many people have been asking you about Signal recently, but it's not the only alternative to WhatsApp. Maybe you've got a favorite that you'd like to tell me about in the comments. I look forward to talking to you there. For more tech stories that you may otherwise miss, keep your eye on Bloomberg.com. For Quick Take in London, I'm Nate Langson.